Hello yeah, guys, so this is the Redmi 10 and it's using the Santara OS custom ROM on Android 12.1 okay. In this video, I will cover the review about the ROM This is the part 2 The part 1, you can watch the video before, it's how to install this one Okay. In this video, I will cover all the basic functions, is it working or not, as such as the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth Check with the root mirror, safety net, the GPS camera for recording and taking picture, and also video and sound playback for testing using the YouTube. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello, assalamualaikum guys. So this is the second part of the video. The first part, I uh, already show you how to flash custom ROM on the Redmi 10 MediaTek, and in this part, the second one, uh, let's going, let's make a quick review about ROM. Okay, is it good? Quite good enough for not for dirty driver, and if it has a bug or not. Okay, as uh, as I mentioned before in the video, in the part one, this is using the Sandra OS Android 12.1 or Android 12L okay and okay let's get started <clears throat> the first thing I want to show you is let's go to the settings and about one right here you can see or is it <clears> hey <throat> okay, this is the Redmi 10 using Android 12L and Okay, yeah, using the security update from August 5, 2002. Okay, and let's go back. And I always like when you change the animation, so let's hit the build number. Go back, go to the system, developer options. Let's change the animation it usually will make your pawn more smooth okay i usually set on 0 0.5 uh, because usually it feel more smooth okay nice better than before and what else maybe some of you guys want to know the internal storage that has been used by the system okay let's go to the storage and here we go can see right here it's using 1.1 gigabyte for a system and also the same size for the apps okay for the document and other stuff it is from the micro sd okay so can ignore that one and let's check the memory usage that has been used Go to the system, developer option, and here we can find <coughs> the average memory that has been used is 2.7 GB of total max 6 GB. Okay, quite nice. I think it's better than the stock ROM. And let's check some of the apps. Okay, so <coughs> this is the GAP version, so it's already included uh, maps, uh, Google Photo, and other stuff. Okay, now let's open the map. I want to know if it's quite accurate or not for the location. Maybe some of you guys need it to navigate and other stuff. and we can see right here the map is quite accurate this is my position and i think it's quite good enough okay so it's work it's working and now let's test the root beer maybe some of you guys want to know if you're using the banking apps or hell writing such as Kojak rap and other stuff 
and it's rooted okay because the SC Linux flag is enabled but uh, it is not a problem why I'm saying like that because in the Samsung ROM the stock ROM without rooted it's also rooted like this one in Samsung so there is no problem with that <clears throat> so check so let's open the safety net and nice it passed the safety net so basically you can use this one for banking apps there is no problem with that and if you like customize there is several options right here if I click in here go to the wallpaper and style you can change the wallpaper right here set the dark theme and the pp grid i usually change it to the five point so it will make a better display <clears throat> you can also change in here the suggestion i usually don't use this one <laughs> okay let's change this one and there is also lots of option you also have a power button menu right here without pressing the power button you can power off go to the recovery bootloader and other stuff okay very nice and it's also have a new ui display very nice now bloodware just the uh, google bloodware <laughs> okay uh what else uh maybe some of you guys want to know the cpu throttle result okay the cpu total is usually used for testing the cpu stress test it means it will test to the maximum capacity hey okay. uh usually when it's stable it's quite good enough uh, seems that it's not quite stable <laughs> but it's quite good enough okay let's wait for one minute maybe and now let's step stop this one it's already 1.5 minutes and the result the maximum is 133 and the minimum is 82 okay quite decent not very good for gaming but uh, it's usable for daily driver better than a mu as usual <laughs> okay and what else okay let's check the ida 64 let's go to the cpu i can see right here it's still using the 12 nanometer and the clock is between 500 and 2 gigahertz okay and let's check the camera maybe some of you guys want to know the result we will taking a picture and also record the video and show you the result and so i have take several picture and also record videos so or let's take the result this is the result from the back camera and this one is from the front camera okay quite decent now let's check let's see the result from the video recording let's just record the camera and i'll stop this video okay other guys so this is recorded using the okay quite nice <clears throat> it doesn't have <clears throat> it doesn't have a uh, no sound, the sound is quite loud. Okay, so guys, so this is recorded using the back camera. Okay, nice, so there is no problem while recording and taking a picture. And now let's test the sound and view playback. Let's open YouTube and play some music video. <laughs> Different papers, we got to take one with it. 
at the course of the moon. So, about the booking of the I have to see. Okay, nice. The sound is very loud. And the video is also clear. Let's play one more time. Okay, nice. And <clears throat> so there is no problem with the sound and video playback. And what else, maybe? You already seen the Bluetooth and the Wi Fi is working. And now let's check the image, is it safe or not? Okay, press star shop tool six. And you can see right here we have both of our image. So the image is safe, no problem with the image. <clears throat> And what else? Maybe you want to know. If you have any question, you can always ask in the comment section. Okay. <clears throat> this is very nice. Doesn't have a blood wear, and it's quite smooth enough. Better than Mew as usual. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that's all, guys. This is the second part from the uh, the second part. This is the review about the custom ROM. For installation, you can check the part one. Okay. Thank you. See you on the next video. And I hope you like my video. If you find it very useful, please give it a thumb. And I also have a lot of video about routing, custom ROM, and lots of fun, okay, especially Xiaomi, Samsung, Realme, Asus, and other stuff, okay. Uh, you can find in my video, maybe some of the video will be useful for you. Okay, guys, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make a new video. And that's all. Stay safe, stay safe, stay healthy, and wassalamualaikum.